We begin with news that Advocacy Group, Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has faulted plans by the Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Inyesum Wiki, to spend 15 billion naira on a befitting residence for the Vice President of Nigeria, Kashim Shetima. The group also decried the 2.8 billion naira budget for publicity, stressing that the spending was unnecessary and wasteful. Sarap expressed its position, its opposition to the budgetary allocations in a statement on Sunday by its deputy director, Kolawali Oluwadari. Oluwadari urged the Senate president, Godswill Akpabio, to use his constitutional authority to reject the plans by Wiki to spend such huge money on what he described as, quote, unnecessary and wasteful, end quote, especially at a time when the country was battling a rising debt profile. Sarap said the National Assembly, including the Senate, has a constitutional responsibility to address the country's debt crisis, including by rejecting wasteful and unnecessary spending to satisfy the personal comfort and lifestyle of public officials. The federal government says it will soon commence disbursement of funds under its presidential palliative program, targeted at alleviating the impact of the fuel subsidy removal. A statement on Sunday by the Minister for Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Doris Uzoka Anite, said the programs consisted of the Presidential Conditional Grant Program and the Presidential Palliative Loan Program. It stated that in the Presidential Conditional Grant Program, the federal government will disburse a grant sum of 50,000 Naira to nano businesses across the 774 local government areas. It said that for the Presidential Palliative Loan Program, the federal government would disburse 75 billion Naira to micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises across various sectors, and 75 billion Naira specifically to manufacturers. The loan would be administered to the beneficiaries at a single-digit interest rate of 9 per annum. The charged affairs of the United States Embassy in Nigeria, Mr. David Green, disclosed on Sunday that the embassy has interviewed over 150,000 Nigerians for U.S. visas, in addition to 30,000 student visa applicants. Green, who stated this in Abuja, said the mission remained committed to tackling all visa-related bottlenecks. He said, quote, when it comes to visas specifically, well, of course, it is a simple fact. The demand for visa appointment outnumbers the supply. Green said the 150,000 is in addition to 30,000 students. Uh, hundreds of thousands of students have had the opportunity to seek visas from the United States. He urged persons desiring to travel to the United States to apply early and ensure that the visa requests were tied to events.